what's up lovers how are you doing today today i am making a video about seven secret text messages that you can send to a woman and she won't be able to resist she won't like no women you send that shit to me i'm texting back quick you know you get the number and you started texting and the conversation maybe died down maybe she left you on bread for several days or maybe she's taking just hella long to respond uh, maybe she's not that interested. Maybe the conversation is a little boring. You know, it, it's hard sometimes to spark something interesting. You know, it's a stranger and it's just a little stiff sometimes. So I'm going to help you out with those seven things today. Yes. All right. Before we start, I created a Patreon at www.patreon.com slash So if you want to go maybe schedule a one-on-one -on -one conversation video, uh, we, we can do that or you can maybe just find some more pictures over there. Yes. All right. So now let's go. Number one, text her a message that piques her curiosity. It is scientifically proven that when your curiosity has been piqued, your brain enter a curiosity state. It's going to make anyone a little uncomfortable because of the lack of information. We don't know something we need to know. So the brain is going to start looking for answers. While on your search, the brain will flood our veins with dopamine, which is going to be kind of like a reward that's going to make us feel good. It's exciting and therefore it's way more interesting to fucking text back and forth because it's like, ooh, there is like something about to happen. What is it? I want to know. I need more info, you know, right there. She's going to be like texting right away. You got to make her curious so she's going to want to know more. You're going to have also to find a smart way to keep this intriguing thing going. So you got to be a little smart. I'm sorry, but yes. I know it's tough, but if you don't, she's just going to revert to what she was doing, like leaving you on red, giving you one word answer and just not be interested at all. So I'm going to give you an example. You could say something. Oh my God, you will never know what happened in my dream last night. That's intriguing because us as women, if you want to share your dream, we're going to think because we're so self-centered, we're going to think, oh, it's a dream about me. You dream about me. Oh my God, I want to know what happened. So you got to be able to stretch your story a little bit. So to like string her along, to pique her interest a little more. Also, when you tell her the story, you got to make sure that you are not talking about well. We were intimate, I fucked you, you did this, you said my did it. Like, no, that is out of line. She's not gonna appreciate that. And right there, she's gonna be like, oh my God, lame. So make sure you don't say no dumb shit that is gonna turn her off. But right there, you have uh, attention. You just gotta be able to play with it. So get creative and find something very fun to tell. Number two, send her a text that's gonna make her qualify herself. Please tell me that you are not a cat person or Please tell me that you love tequila. Please tell me and something that qualifies. Because now when you do that, you are the buyer and she got to qualify. You're telling her your criteria and she got to prove to you that, oh yeah, when you tell her, please tell me you like tequila, she's going to be like, oh yeah, yeah, I like tequila. You know, she's trying to sell herself to you in a way. And then right there, that puts you as like, I'm the king, you need to qualify to my shit to be able to be around me. And also it's just light and fun and it will keep her interested. So I'm telling you with those type of texts, she will respond. Number three, another text that you can send her is, this is a great conversation to have over drinks or over seven drinks. Yes, you gotta let her know like, uh, bitch, we're about to drink. No, I'm joking. But uh, why you're doing that is because it's, gonna catch her off guard you're actually telling her we're gonna meet and fucking uh have a conversation face to face so you don't really have a choice and at the end you hit her with all seven or over seven drinks right there it's like uh excuse me seven drinks uh that that's a little much right there she's gonna be caught off guard because it's funny and obviously i don't know i don't think we're gonna really have seven drinks but nobody is telling her that. So right there, you pick her interest and you're funny. So now she's going to be like, all right, let's do it. Also, by doing that, you need to do that in towards the beginning because you don't want to become a text buddy. A text buddy is somebody that she takes when she needs validation, when she's down, when she just feel like talking. You know, no, that's not who you are. So make sure you don't be talking to bitches through text for a long time before meeting them. That is not what you're here to do. You don't do that. Number four, I know this one, you guys are going to be like, are you for real? Yes. Text 
genuine compliments. When I'm talking about genuine compliments, I'm not talking about compliments about physical appearance or anything like that. You got to go for the good compliments with like, you know, I tell you all the time, her energy, or maybe she's an entrepreneur and you're like, I love how your mind works. You always have like so many creative ideas or, you know, shit like that. Compliments that she's not hearing on a regular basis. Why I'm telling you that those type work because first of all, you're not giving her the regular compliments about how she looks, how beautiful she is and all of that. She is going to respond even if it's just a thank you or a blushing emoji or something. She will respond because if she is just a nice person, she will have to respond and say something like, oh, thank you. Oh, I appreciate you or something. She will respond with those type of compliments or she might even give you a compliment back too. Number five. Okay. So number five is that, that, that. So usually I tell you all the time, there is no double texting here. If the bitch didn't text the first time, you don't double text. But in this instance, you ask her, Hey, are you free to come here with me tonight at, um, this venue? She hasn't responded. You send her the dad, 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 because bitch, I need to have an answer. You let her know that you need an answer because you're trying to probably invite somebody else. So the that, that, that is minimal effort for you to text. That's one. And second, she's going to know, yo, bitch, I need an answer. And it's not because you're thirsty. It's more because you're trying to find a replacement for her, you know? So she will respond. And uh, when she responds, if she's not available, you don't even need to respond back. Or you can be like, ah, okay, no problem. You know, you don't obviously make a big deal out of it. And you go about your business and you invite another bitch. That's it. But she will respond with the that, that, that. Number six, I'm going to, I don't know, you pick the a bar. I'm going to Bar Louis and um, you can come only if you can keep up. So you put a condition where she has to qualify again and you can only come bitch if you can keep up. You invite her somewhere, but she got to qualify herself. In the buyer mindset, you are inviting her, but you are telling her you're only coming under those circumstances. That's a way to have her respond because it's going to be funny to her. It's going to be in a playful way and nobody is taking it so seriously. So now the bitch got to qualify to come hang out with you because uh, you are the king and those are the conditions. And uh, if you don't have that, don't come. Stay home. Yes. So it's challenging for her and it's fun. Number seven, send her a text with some type of anticipation that create anticipation. So she needs to feel like, oh shit, something about to go down. What's up? So you can say something like, I have this great idea for you. You need to hear it. I know you're going to love it. Oh my God. I saw this thing at the mall. It reminded me of you right there. She's going to be like, what is it? You know, again, some of the thing is like, um, to make them feel good, to make them feel like important or whatever. And she's going to respond. She's going to be like, what is it? I want to know what, what did you see that made you think about me? Or what is this idea that you want? You know, all of that. Then bitches are going to be like, what is it? What is it? Please tell me now. So that's it. Those were seven things that women cannot resist. They will fucking text you back. And then it's up to you to keep him going and uh, get what you need. Get that day. Get yes. Please do that. Try some. Try and let me know how that worked out for you. So yes, hopefully you can like, share, comment. You can subscribe to my Patreon at www.patreon.com slash Monaco. You can also follow me on Instagram at MediLoveXO and at MediMonaco. I hope you guys are having a great day. And uh, what else? And that you're being amazing. I know you guys are amazing. And uh, that's it. Yes. All right, guys. I love you and I will talk to you.